everyone, I'm Megan, your Reference and Adult Services Librarian at the Ames Free Library. Whether you've decided to read more in 2021 or you're just looking for more variety in what you've been reading lately, join us for the Winter Reading Bingo Challenge. There are bingo cards for readers of all ages, and the more you read, the more opportunity you have to earn special limited edition, limited edition library buttons. The program runs through March 20th, so join us today and start reading. Hey everyone! Today I'm bringing you recommendations for two of the categories in our Adult Winter Reading Bingo Challenge, read a book set in another country and read a book by a Massachusetts-based author. The first title I'm bringing you as a recommendation for set in another country is Born a Crime, Stories from a South African Childhood by Trevor Noah. You may be familiar with him from his work hosting The Daily Show, but what you may not know is that his existence is a literal crime. He was born in apartheid South Africa to a white father and a black mother, and at that time their relationship was punishable by up to five years in jail. This book takes a look at the hard and humorous times that made up Trevor Noah's childhood, but it is very much a story about his adoration for his mother and everything that she sacrificed to give him the life that he has. There are currently plans for it to be adapted into a film with Lupita Nyong'o starring as his mother, Patricia. And so if you're looking for some nonfiction that covers really serious topics, but also is really funny, check this one out. And the next title I have for you is Like Water for Chocolate by Laura Esquivel. This book is set in Mexico, and it is the story of a young woman named Tita who falls in love with her neighbor, Pedro. They are not allowed to marry because of a long-standing family tradition in which the youngest daughters must remain unmarried so that they can care for their mothers. Tita is heartbroken by this, um, but she finds an outlet for her emotions in cooking. Um, the novel is divided into 12 parts, one for each month, and each one starts with a Mexican recipe. So if you're looking for a book that is infused with culture and with food, check this one out. For all my mystery lovers out there, I'm going to recommend Jane Harper, an Australian author. Her titles are all set in Australia, and her newest one comes out in February 2021. It's called The Survivors, and here's a little bit from the synopsis. When a body is discovered on the beach, long-held secrets threaten to emerge. A sunken wreck, a missing girl, and questions that have never washed away. If you want to try something a little further back in Jane's catalog, check out The Dry or Force of Nature, which, which are two titles in one of her mystery series. Moving on to Massachusetts-based authors, the first author I want to recommend for you is Celeste Ng. Now, Celeste wasn't born in Massachusetts, but she has called it her home for many, many years. And she has two titles available, Everything I Never Told You and Little Fires Everywhere. You may be more, more familiar with Little Fires Everywhere because it was the basis for the TV adaptation of the same name. Her titles deal with family and secrets, secrets, and there is just a lot of drama to unpack, and they're also great for book clubs. So give those ones a try. I can't talk about Massachusetts-based authors without talking about Dennis Lehane. He is Massachusetts born and raised and still lives here today. You may be familiar with a lot of his work that has been adapted to film, such as Mystic River, Shutter Island, and Gone Baby Gone. If you are a fan of mysteries and thrillers, or if you just want fiction that is set in a place that is familiar to you, give his work a try. If you're looking for a little nonfiction, I recommend The Map Thief by Massachusetts author Michael Blanding. It is the story of antiquarian map dealer E. Forbes Smiley III, who was ultimately found to be a notorious thief who stole 97 maps with a collected total value of over $3 million. So if you are a fan of true crime, but you're not looking for anything gory or bloody or too creepy, give this one a try. That's all I have for you today, but check out our website for more resources. Don't forget that you can always fill out our reader's advisory form to get personalized recommendations based on the books, TV shows, and movies you already love. There are links below for everything we chatted about today. Happy reading! <music>